Hey everybody. All right, well today's objective is now that we can tell time to the hour and we're pretty good at looking at the half hour, we're going to look at some of the other times on the clock by skip counting fives. Um, those numbers are significant as landmarks around the clock and I think we'll figure that out as we talk today. Um, doing that will help us know how many minutes have passed from the hour, how many minutes we are after the hour. Okay, so let's do a little bit of review. Um, these are the two things we talked about before. The o'clocks, the blue hand is going to be up at the top. The half pasts, halfway around, the blue hand is going to be down at the bottom. So o'clocks are up, half pasts or 30s are down. The other thing you'll notice as being different here is if it's 9 o'clock on the hour, it'll point exactly on the 9. But when it's half past, it's going to be halfway toward the next number. So even though it's half past seven, it looks like it's a little past seven, which makes perfect sense because it's half past seven. So it's going to look that way too. This is review from yesterday. We'll talk about that same thing every day. It's good for you to hear it. Key today will be being able to skip count by fives. And I think we all have this, but let's sing it through. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. But I don't want you to count all the way every time, right? It gets to be a lot of work. If you know the 6 is 30, start there, right? Like if I want you to get to the 7, you're just going to go, oh, well, that's 30. So this is 35. It'll save a lot of time. So the reason why this isn't done in one big line is because think about the first half of the clock. Sure, skip count the first half, that makes sense. And now think about the second half of the clock. You don't have to skip count the entire clock each time. It'll be exhausting for you, okay? So try to use that landmark of halfway past to remember, oh, that's the 30, I can just start there. All right. One of the first things you're going to do in this workbook is you're going to show me that you can match the minutes to the corresponding number, right? Now, I'm going to do this all in blue because the blue hand is the one that's pointing to these minutes. So it's the long hand. I like to talk about it as coming all the way out here and pointing at these little ticks around the outside. Okay? So this is not 10 one, this is 10.05. And the reason why this is 10.05, and I guess I don't need the 10 in there because they're all going to be 10.05 or they're all going to be 10 something. I'm just going to do. The reason why it's 05 is because there are exactly one, two, three, four, five minutes to get to that first one. And then there's five more minutes to get to the next one number and five more minutes to get to the next number and five more minutes and so on. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And this one I'm going to write huge because I actually think if you memorize this one, it'll save you tons of work. 30 is straight down. So anytime they want you to count any of these, don't start at five. Start at 30. 35. 40, 45, 50, 55, click. This would be 60, but when it touches that 60, it goes all the way back over and starts over again, right? So it goes to the next hour. So 60 minutes is an hour. So this could be 60 or it could be zero. Um, the reason I put the zero there is we don't ever say we have... 260, we would just say that is click three o'clock, right? So if you have a 60, you're just going to carry that over into the next hour. Anyway, I want you to feel good about knowing where the 60 is, right? Where the zero is and where the 30 is. It's good to know those two for sure. Let's keep going. All right, so this is the work we're doing today. 
They're going to show you a clock. You're going to build it. You're going to think about it. You might even write it. Eight o'clock. Then you're gonna look at a change that happens. The yellow signifies the change. How many clicks, how many minutes, how much movement did the blue hand have to do to get from the 12 all the way over to the four? That is what they're asking you. How much time has passed? Five, 10, 15, 20. Five, 10, 15, 20. So 20 minutes after eight o'clock is this time. It's 20 minutes later or after. Those words mean the same. Here's eight, 20 minutes after eight. You'll see a lot of movement with the blue hand and you'll only see a little smidge of movement with that um, red hand. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of these today. Let me show you. This is the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do. Show what you know about the clock's face and where the minutes fit. Then I'm gonna have you guys look at that minute hand, see it? I don't care about the hour hand today. I just want you focusing on the minute hand and how many minutes do those hands point to? So you're gonna be counting by fives around the clock. And they really uh, did a nice job with this first clock because they put one of these bumps by every number. So you just really have to count the bumps till you get there. But wait, Mr. W said, don't start at the zero. You can just start at the 30, 35. Saves you tons of time. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have you do those two pages for me today. And then there's a brand new math game called rock, paper, math, that I'll teach you on the next um, page. Okay, thanks everybody.